I would like to take you on a tour of Frontier Community College's campus. Let's start at FNB Field, home of Bobcats Baseball. I really hit it out of the park when I decided to start my college journey at Frontier. FCC is located on Route 15 at the west edge of Fairfield, Illinois, with a new digital sign marking the main entrance to campus. Student parking is conveniently located nearby. The Student Services Building is the first place I suggest you get familiar with. Everyone is super helpful, especially when you're not sure where to go or what to do first. Heather assists with student payments and billing questions. Amy and Debbie can help you register for class. If you need to speak to an advisor, Kim sets up appointments with Jan, Kara, and Eric. Need help with financial aid or scholarships? Lori and Justin can answer all your questions. The Student Services staff are always happy to assist you. The Adult Education Building on the right sits next to Rotary Plaza, a scenic memorial dedicated to the history of education in Wayne County. The building with the circular window entrance is the Learning Resource Center, also known as the LRC, LRN, or simply the Library. The foyer features a commemorative art gallery. Julie welcomes us to the Nursing Faculty Office Suite where she assists nursing program students. Additional classrooms and a nursing lab are down the hall. Let's check it out. When we arrive in the nursing lab, you will notice actual hospital beds, cardiopulmonary monitoring equipment, IV and prescription drug stations, and interactive mannequins for simulating patient treatment techniques safely. Nursing instructors Beth Wilson and Juliana Fleming work with students to build clinical skills prior to students encountering authentic patients in real life treatment settings. The nursing department head and assistant professor Wanda Douglas shows us the infant incubator training area which provides students with simulated newborn care. As we return to the lobby, we see the Learning Resource Center which houses over 11,000 books and resource materials all available for student use. Either Myrna or Robert at the circulation desk can assist you. The LRC has a charging station to the left of the entrance and a computer lab with 30 workstations. Instructors occasionally conduct classes from this space as well. Some computer stations are equipped with features to improve accessibility for those who require accommodations. Need a private study area? You can find it in the LRC as well. Mac computers with Premiere Pro, which are heavily used in graphic design, are available near the magazine section. Miss a test? The LRC is typically where instructor-authorized makeup exams are taken under staff supervision, but don't forget your student ID. Up next is Frontier's original permanent classroom space and once upon a time, FCC's westernmost structure, West Hall. We've grown a lot since 1976. While West is not the largest building on campus, some services that may be very important to you are located here. Let's take a look inside. West Hall houses classrooms to the left. To the right are additional classrooms and the TRIO Student Support Services Office. What does TRIO stand for? TRIO refers to three programs, Upward Bound, Talent Search, and Student Support Service. Academic counselor Annie Langford, whose office is near the student lounge, can answer all of your questions regarding the TRIO program. West Hall also has a large student lounge with areas to eat, study, watch TV, or play games with a friend. Students really appreciate the free food stored in the refrigerator and silver cabinet. All of the food is free and stocked by Fairfield First Baptist Church for those times when Frontier students are big on hunger but low on resources. Next, we will go back out to another campus entrance by Bob Boyles Hall. This building houses classes each semester. The space also serves the community and frequently hosts meetings as well as the FCC annual art show, Fairfield Paint Out, and other public gatherings. Behind Bob Boyle's Hall is Mason Hall. Science classrooms and computer labs are housed in Mason. Just inside the entrance is a small student lounge study area. It's a great place for a quiet place to think or if you need a spot to cram before exams. Keep an eye on the monitor in the foyer for important information. Left of the monitor are the administrative offices where you can find President J. Edgren and Dean Paul Bruinsma. Next is the newly renovated MLT lab equipped with the latest technology. 
centrifuges, microscopes, and even DNA testing. The Medical Laboratory Technician Program is FCC's newest degree offering. As we move away from the heart of the FCC campus, we still have a lot to see. Primarily the home of Frontier's career and technical programs, commonly referred to as CTE programs. Trust me, you really can't miss this building. Located on the north side of campus is a large yellow structure marked the Workforce Development Center, or as you will see it on your schedule, WDC. FYI, nobody calls it that. It's just called Workforce. The right side of Workforce is used to store instructional tools including a bucket truck for the electrical lineman program, which is housed on the left side of the building. Classroom space on the west side of Workforce is used for first aid and CPR, phlebotomy, and Frontier's new Certified Medical Assistant program. The Automotive Technology program includes a large lab space filled with a variety of makes and models of vehicles, providing students with hands-on, diverse experience in preparation for future employment. The program is NATEF certified, indicating this CTE offering meets or exceeds industry standards for program excellence. However, even the 38,000 square foot space in Workforce isn't enough room to house the lineman program. To train for this career, students require a classroom in the sky. Welcome to the Electrical Distribution Lab, where students work 35 feet above the ground, training sometimes in inclement weather. From this aerial view, you can see Bobcat Crossing on the right, where many of our student athletes live. This scenic look at FNB Field leads us to the last building on our tour, the FCC Bobcat Den. The den is a multi-purpose space and a favorite hangout for many of our students, including those participating in our sports programs. Let's take a look inside. Immediately inside is the Frontier Perks Coffee Shop, which offers a variety of hot and cold specialty beverages. Adjacent are lounge areas with modular seating, including the Trio Charging Station, with additional space in the next room for students to watch TV, listen to music, spend time with friends, or even have a spirited game of ping pong. You can see one entry for the bookstore where you can purchase or rent instructional supplies, but we'll revisit that in a moment. As we move toward the hallway, you can see a door leading to a fitness classroom and notice an ATM housed in the corner. From the hallway bookstore entrance, you can see textbooks, nursing scrubs, as well as the latest in FCC apparel, which is available for purchase in a variety of styles and colors. Students, athletes, FCC employees, as well as the general public can use the fitness areas located both downstairs and upstairs here in the Bobcat Den. Looks like we're headed back to home plate. I hope this brief journey touched on all the bases needed to get you familiar with the FCC campus. I made a lot of wonderful friends and great memories during my time at FCC. For me, attending Frontier was a home run.